3D shapes. What you need to know. Each surface or side of a 3D shape is called a face. Pairs of faces meet at an edge. Edges meet at a vertex. A net is an unfolded 3D shape laid flat. There may be more than one way of creating a net for a 3D shape. These are both nets from a cube. Let's practice. Circle the net that does not fold to create a cube. Step 1. Read the question, then read it again. What is it asking? The question is asking you to identify the net that will not make a cube. Step 2. Think of a method you can use. Step 3. Try each net in turn. When you think about folding up each net, try to visualise the edges meeting. If two faces fit over each other, then it isn't the net of a cube. Step 4. What is your answer? The answer is net C. Let's try another question. This time it's your turn to have a go. The question reads, This is a pentagonal-based pyramid. It then asks you to complete a table with the number of faces, edges and vertices. Now work out your answer. Use the pause button to stop the animation while you do this and press play when you are ready to hear the explanation. What is your answer? A pentagonal base prism has six faces, ten edges and six vertices. Did you get the same answer? Let's see how to reach this answer using the four steps to success. Step 1. Read the question, then read it again. What is it asking? The question is asking you to find the number of faces, edges and vertices on a pentagonal-based pyramid. Step 2. Think of a method you can use. Step 3. Check the drawing carefully and count each of the features. A face is a surface. There is a pentagonal face on the base and five triangular faces. So, there are six faces altogether. An edge is where two faces meet. The edges appear as solid or dotted lines in the drawing. There are five edges around the pentagon on the base and five edges meeting at the top. There are ten edges altogether. A vertex is the point where edges meet. There are five vertices around the base and one at the top. There are six vertices altogether. Step 4. What is your answer? The answer is six faces, ten edges, and six vertices. Well done.